At this point, I would multiply through your denominator because there's nothing that's going to cancel with the numerator. This gives us 1 minus cosine squared x. All right, something should jump out at you. Cosine squared x. Let's think about our Pythagorean identity. We know that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. If we re rearrange this, we then see that 1 minus cosine squared equals sine squared. Thus, we can substitute out this entire denominator for sine squared. So we get 2 over sine squared x. All right, now remember your reciprocal identities. 1 over sine is cosecant, so this equals 2 times cosecant squared x. And that is what we originally started with. Thus, we have verified the identity. All right, moving on to B. If you want to try this one on your own first, please do. Otherwise, just follow along with the video.